was at love and it was gas Soon turned out I had a heart of glass Seemed like the real thing but all just fine Much mistrust, love's gone behind Once I had love and it was divine Soon found out I was losing my mind it Seemed like the real thing but I was so blind Much mistrust, love's gone behind In between, what I find is pleasing and I'm feeling fine Love is so confusing, there's no peace of mind if I fear I'm losing you, it's just no good You teach me like you do Ooh. Ooh. Once I had love and it was a guess Soon turned out you had a heart glass Seemed like the real thing but only to find much mistrust, love's gone behind Lost in sight, adorable illusion and I cannot hide I'm the one you're using, please don't push me aside We could have made it cruising, yeah Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we are doing Heart of Glass by Blondie. Now, I can't take 100% credit for this because I was in a local brewery called uh, The Crown Tap, I think it is, or Jewels. It's like a new kind of brewery opened up in a, a little kind of town called Stone. I don't live too far from... And I met a guy down there and he was playing guitar and singing. His name's Johnny Allen. You can probably Google him and find him. And he's kind of a bit like me, really. You know, he plays guitar and sings and kind of does little gigs and stuff like that. And I was having a few beers watching this dude. He's really cool. And I was like, I really like his version. So, Johnny, thank you very much. So this is because of you, really. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, too. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. So I definitely think I was, I'm probably playing it differently to how my good friend Johnny was playing it. Um, but it's, this is kind of my take on it, okay? And, you know, I've tried to keep it really simple and I know there's some bar chords in there, but you can actually supplement them for open chords as well. So there is an easier way. Oh, there's always an easier way, guys, okay? So I'm starting off. So that kind of groove, 
And that's just referencing the original track. So look what I'm doing here. I'm playing an E5 power chord up on the seventh fret on the A string, okay? And I'm playing it with my pinky as well. So first fingers on the seven on the A, third fingers on the ninth on the D, and pinky is also on the ninth on the G, okay? And the reason I'm playing it like that is so I can change it into kind of like a B major but I'm not playing the root in there, okay? So I'm just dropping that. That's an octave, okay? So where the pinky is, it's an octave. So if I take the note down one, put my second finger on the eighth fret, it becomes a major seven, okay? So we've got da 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 Da, da, da. So that's that's the the melody that's happening on the record. Da, da, da. But because we're doing the chord, you're kind of getting that business, okay? Da, 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 da. And you can hear me. I'm doing a little bit of a palm mute on here as well, just to kind of keep control under it. That's without palm muting, so it's a bit more lively. It's up to you what you do. I just now as for the strumming, I always get asked about the strumming, guys, and it's kind of difficult to try and put things into down up downs. Down up down up down up down up up down. The up, up, down, that's when I'm changing the chord. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or down, up. It doesn't really matter. It's more about getting that groove. So that's what I'm doing the first time round. When I don't make mistakes. And then the second time round. So that's what I'm trying to do there. So that's what we want, okay? So I'm on the G string with the pinky, except you can do it with the two strings. Slide in the third and fourth finger up from the ninth fret to the eleventh, and back down, okay? And if you listen to the original record, you'll hear what I'm referencing there. Okay, so then, you know, the vocal stars. Then, was it love? It was a guess. So look, I'm playing that E. Then C sharp major. You could do that. Down there, so there's C, the third fret, C sharp. But I just prefer it up here. And then C sharp minor. So all you do, major to minor, remove the second finger, okay? If you're playing it down here, you have to do a minor down there. Major, minor. Now I did say in the beginning, you know, there is an easier version. And what you could do, you could play it all in power chords. Once it had love and it was a guess. So I'm just doing power chord there. Soon turned out it had a heart of glass. So you don't have to do the major or minor thing. You could do it down there. Soon turned out it had a heart of glass. Using the lower octave E, okay? So either or. Okay, and that just repeats. Seem like the real thing. And if you're wondering about the falsetto at the beginning, yes, I am singing falsetto. Okay, seem like the real thing. No, it's fine. Much mistrust, love's gone behind. 
and as you can hear it takes a while to warm up to get to that range okay so i don't just do it automatically and believe me there was a couple of takes so um there's the there's the kind of the verses okay and then you kind of got this little run okay you can just do it single notes down 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 down, down. and i'm going nine sorry seven nine that's not seven is it five yeah seven nine ten eleven then i go down to the a major okay and i'm playing an a major bar chord there just because i kind of like the sound in between so what i find is pleasing and i'm feeling fine so i'm just playing an e major there so i go from an a now i'm not being so you know kind of uh, staccato with the rhythm here i'm opening it up a bit so it sounds cool a and e however you could do it down here a Then it comes to the turn around, F sharp. Okay, and then we're into that section. So all I played there is F sharp. Again, you can do the power chord. Second fret on the E string. Go over next door to the next string, to the A string, second fret, that's B, B, C sharp, D, D sharp. Okay, so it's two, four, five, six, and then you're back into the main riff, okay? So then the whole thing repeats, but then you've got this na 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 section. Na na na. Na, 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 na. Now you don't have to do it like that and all I'm doing is I'm just dropping a beat or pushing the beat on the first round so if you listen to the original recording that's what goes on so you can drop out that beat if you wanted to na, na. Na, 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 So it's like a push onto the next chord whereas you know, when, when you come into the next couple of rounds, it just goes normal. Na 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 So you kind of see me doing it down there. And at the end again, F sharp, B, C sharp, D, D sharp. that is the entire song so there you have it guys hope you enjoyed this week's lesson please don't forget hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates and please don't forget i don't get paid for these lessons due to copyright but i do have some cool t-shirts for sale over on my website and i've also set up a paypal donation button if you'd like to send me any loose change that just helps me along with my channel helps me continue to make these videos and uh Thank you to everyone that's already donated and some of you donate on a regular basis, which is a massive help. So thank you so much. Please don't forget, hit me up over on Instagram if you'd like to send me a request or just send me a video of you learning some stuff or if you just want to chat, we can hang out over there and uh, look forward to seeing you again the same time next week, guys. Enjoy.